Oh, they're brilliant people. So today's question is, why is emotional mastery such a thing? So the reason why you want to develop uh, emotional mastery is that it is kind of like a superpower. So what do I mean by that? Well, I think we first of all have to sort of understand a little bit about what emotional mastery is and then we can understand why it is such a superpower. So emotional mastery is the ability for you to flow with your own emotions. In other words, you, although you experience your emotions, it's not about suppressing them. You're open to your emotions, but you're able to be in such a state of openness or acceptance around your emotions that your emotions don't get to dictate your choices or they don't get to dictate your actions to you. You know, I suppose you could say that, you know, emotional mastery and impulse control, are, you know, they're related, uh, but it's because it's not your emotions who are in charge of your, your choices. You know, who you really are is in charge of your choices. So because of that, your emotional mastery allows you to live from that deeper place, from that place of alignment. So how do we get there? Uh, well, interestingly enough, uh, if, you, if you've done any reading about Stoicism, um, that, that might have seemed like a curveball, but bear with me. Um, a lot of people misunderstand stoicism. They think it's about suppressing your emotions, but it's actually about practicing radical acceptance. Uh, it, in a strange way, you could even say that uh, maybe it's kind of like comes from the same place as Buddhism, but it's a Western form of it because both Buddhism and uh, Stoicism actually practice radical acceptance, the ability to be able to accept things that, well, in many ways, you shouldn't have to accept. But that's life. So the thing is, the, when we practice our intuition, we realize that acceptance enables us to be more complete with our emotions, the ability to go, well, that's how it is. And that's both for the negative emotions, like when something's really upsetting or infuriating, that we're able to accept that it's upsetting or infuriating. And in a strange way, that, that makes us be, that helps us be more able to deal with the situation appropriately and to stay centered, stay connected to who we really are, even though we're feeling these really intense emotions. It's the same thing with the positive, like when you when you come across something that's just really exciting or thrilling or inspiring or just so, um, you know, you just, you just want to burst out of your skin. Uh, so being able to flow acceptance to it, it enables you to really enjoy that experience, but not allow it to become so overwhelming that it, it overtakes everything. So that is what emotional mastery is. So why is that a, a superpower? Why is that such an important thing to have in our lives? Well, I kind of already said it. It's because when we are practicing acceptance around our emotions, when we're able to accept whatever our emotions are doing, and so our emotions aren't con controlling our choices, we're it's so not sort of driving us to have an impulse that's not appropriate. Um, so because of that, no matter what's going on with our emotions, no matter how we're feeling, we're still saying very centered in who we really are, in our soul seed, in our fractal resonance. And because of that, we, actually develop more trust with ourselves because we know our choices are going to be appropriate. In other words, it helps us develop uh, shadow trust and therefore get to brilliant trust. Uh, I have talked about the three kinds of trust in another video, so I'll, I'll link that below. Um, I'll try and put it on the screen somewhere if I can. Um, but 
the thing is, is that when we are actually able to do that with our emotions, when we're able to stay centered in who we really are, regardless of what we're feeling, we know we can trust our choices, regardless of how we're feeling, so we can be more open to our feelings. And it helps us develop more self-certainty, more self-confidence, and it's actually that self-confidence and self-certainty that often leads to other people having confidence in us. And that's why emotional mastery can be such a powerful and attractive thing. And therefore, we can experience emotional mastery as a superpower. So that is a superpower you can definitely develop by learning to practice flowing acceptance to your emotions, the kind of things that I talk about in in the soul's brain. So do that and remember that you're brilliant.